Hi YouTube, this is iTracky from iTracky.com with a tutorial on adding a splash screen to your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad application using Xcode. Um, a splash screen is basically a loading screen for your application that launches on default. It's the first thing that launches and basically it'll display some information about your application such as the version type or the logo for your app and stuff like that. So <clears throat> to do this we're going to use Xcode. Uh, this is really easy to do. There's not even that much code. There's like one line of code which doesn't even count. So this is really, really, really easy. I'm using Xcode version 3.2.3, .3, but this should work on all versions of Xcode. So I'm just going to make a new project, go into Windows-based application. You can choose any one. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to use Windows-based for this test. And let's name it Splash Screen. And here it is. Now we'll leave Xcode alone for now. Now what you want to do is you want to create a file called default.png. Let's open up using preview. You want to create a file called default.png. Uh, this has to be a PNG file. It has to be named default.png with a capital D. That's very important. And basically it just has to be the size of your iPhone screen. If you're creating it for an iPhone app, it's going to be 320 pixels in width by 480 pixels in height. And I'm not sure about the iPad app, but I'll look that up for you and put it in this description. So basically, just create a file. It doesn't really matter what the file is. Uh, for example, mine's just iTracky, my logo, the official app, version 1.0, loading, copyright iTracky. Just really simple. It doesn't really matter what you put here. Basically, it'll load on default. So once you created this default.png, let's go back to the desktop. Once you created the default.png, you want to drag this file into Xcode. So let's do that right now. And you, I'm just going to drag it in my resources folder because that's where I usually put all my files and stuff. And click add. And here it is. As you can see here is a preview of the default.png file. And now you're almost done. Believe it or not, that was the hard step. Now all you have to do, you want to go to the splash screen app delegate dot h, or rather, my bad, you want to go into the splash screen app delegate dot m. My bad, h is the header file. Uh, so basically, just the name of your application app delegate dot m, and you see here all this stuff. Just go, um, you want to find where it says, did finish launching with options, or rather, basically, this is what it says for this version of Xcode. Basically, you want to find the line that says that your application started launching. So in Xcode 3.2.3, it's did finish launching with options. So just go to the end, and you want to hit enter four times. And go up to the second line. And all you have to do, press sleep, uh, type sleep. And then two, an open parentheses and a, and a close parentheses and a semicolon. And in between these parentheses, you'll put the number, an integer, which is how long in seconds that you want this splash screen to appear. So let's say I'm just going to do it for five seconds. And so let's say put it for five seconds, it'll appear for five seconds, then load the content. If you put it for three seconds, it'll load for three seconds, then put the content. Uh, this has to go on the very beginning of where your application did start launching because as you know the splash screen just appears at the very beginning so let's say you have some other code here or something you have to, you always have to put the sleep before that so sorry about that let's just erase that and all you have to do is save so let's just save the project and let's just let me change this to the simulator uh, let's just click build and run and it's pre-compiling everything installing it and as you can see here's our splash screen it should load for five seconds two three four five around there let's try that again and as you can see there was the splash screen so you can always change this number of course So let's change it to 3, shall we? No, let's change it to 10. 
so you can see a bigger difference. Save, close all tasks, build and run again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, well, I was close enough, but <laughs> it doesn't really matter. As you can see, there's the splash screen. And you'll get a warning or something. I'm not sure about that. Implicit declaration of function sleep. Uh, I've, tr I've used this function on 3.2.2, Xcode version 3.2.2, and there's no error. I don't know why there's an error in this new version, but this doesn't seem to affect the splash screen much. As you can see, it's still loaded for the correct amount of times. So I'm just going to disregard that for now. If I find anything else interesting that this may affect the code in any way, I'll post that in the description. So yeah, that's about it. There's your splash screen. As long as you loaded the splash screen into your files and added this code, there's your splash screen. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and go to itracky.com for more great tutorials about iPhone apps. Thanks and subscribe.